This video is designed to show you how to make sure you have the numbers correctly formatted from an Excel spreadsheet appearing in Word as a mail merge. As you can see, I'm in the Excel spreadsheet and say for example, I've got a single column and you know it's got a header at the top, so I'm just going to format that slightly differently from the rest of the data. Now the trick with this is to make sure that the numbers are actually in a text format. Now to do this, what I'm going to do is to make sure that firstly the data is in a form that Word will understand. So I'm going to convert this into a table. To do that, I'm going to select the data, select insert, select table. Notice it's picked it up correctly click on OK and that's now a table. Now from here I'm going to insert an, an, an additional column so I'm going to click on to B1, type in data, Oops, data, press enter and notice that's been added to the table. To format this column as text I'm going to click into cell B1, sorry B2 type in equals and the formula we're going to use is a function called text select the adjacent cell press comma to go to the second argument which is format text and for this particular data I want this as a format which is a pound sign so I'm going to type in firstly speech marks pound sign and I'm going to put in a hash mark comma three hash marks, dot for the decimal place, and then a couple of zeros. And close the speech marks, close the brackets. Now what I've got here is the hash marks represent a number if they, if they are there in the actual data. If they aren't, it won't appear. And the, the zeros are will always put at least a zero whether or not there's any numbers there. So from here, when I press enter, it automatically populates it going down the table. From here, if I click on save and close this file, and from here, I'm in a new Word document. And if I want to insert a mail merge, I'm just going to go to mailings, select start mail merge, click on letters, and from there, select recipients, use existing list, and from here, just navigate to that mail merge file, which is this one here, MM test. My data is in sheet one, select OK, and then go to insert merge field and select that second column that I created data. And from here, if I just click on preview results, and from here, you should find that the data being received from Excel is correctly formatted.